Okay. We have left that uh, Bra Bra Brayton, is it? Brayton? Brayden? Bridge? I can't remember the name of it already. I've only just left. Uh, yeah, it's in the morning. We only stopped there the one night. It's, um, it's all right. It's quite nice. Quite nice. A little bit noisy last night with the odd, you know, the odd car that was uh, seemed to have a lot of, um, uh, you know, and these loud exhausts or whatever. I don't know if you can see me. All right. I hope you can. I'll, I'll put you over here. Um, so we've got a retail park again. I like my retail parks. It's so funny sitting here and watching everybody like staring at you as if you shouldn't be here. Let's show you quickly. Uh, Jan's gone over to. Uh, we're in Selby, by the way. This is uh, a retail park in Selby. So over in the corner there is uh, Audi. <laughs> Sports Direct's there. Uh, what's that? Pets at Home is there. Uh, you can't see. I can't get up because Charlie's lying all over me. Uh, <laughs> um, but behind this bit here <laughs> is B&M's. Uh, home base is over there. I think Argos, I think it is over the far side there. Some big Argos. There might be something else with it as well. I'm not sure. Um, Frankie and Benny's is there, and McDonald's is there. So, uh, not bad, not bad. Bit of a choice. Don't think there's any more. No, I don't think there's any more. It's hard to see. Especially when you've got a dog lying on you. So, anyway, yeah, uh, so now we've, uh, I say, this was the um, idea was just to stop over for this one, a quick stop over, and then uh, we're on to the. I've got some bloke walking around the cars here. Um, quick stop over and then we're on to the next uh, destination which is one of the main destinations we've planned to go to uh, which is up to north I keep saying don't I <laughs> I love northerners so um, yeah I'm looking forward to the uh, the end result the end destination I'm really looking forward to that so um, Charlie's going to love it um, I'd say I need to get my drone charged up. Um, yeah, uh, as for anybody who's interested, because I've been asked a few times recently about the lithiums. Uh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. As per usual, no trouble whatsoever. Uh, this morning I got up and I was on uh, dog ears. <laughs> I was in dog ears. Um, this morning I got up, it was on 77% battery power uh, with two batteries, uh, which is brilliant you know um, that's for me doing quite a bit of editing and this that and the other last night being on our own hookups if you know what I mean with the inverter charger on um, so that's good and then now we're on 100 and it was only not long ago it was on 77 uh, and now we're on 100 100% um, absolutely fantastic I absolutely love our setup with the lithiums it was so worth it it makes things so much easier we're not going without anything you know it's brilliant um, I mean obviously we don't use the electric for absolutely everything we don't actually put the inverter on much at all only when we want to charge up say Jan's laptop uh, Chromebook or laptop she, she won't use a laptop much she bought it, she won't use it um, but yeah Chromebook and charging up my laptop or actual fat when I edit I actually keep it plugged in uh, with the inverter charger on while I'm editing because it, it sucks so much power when you're editing especially 4k but even when I was on 1080p, it still uh, still does a bit. So uh, yeah, yes, uh, it's pretty good. Um, really, really happy with that. And I mean, I just checked a second ago, and the sun's just starting to come out. Before the sun came out, I was getting 7.7 .7 amps uh, going into the batteries, uh, just reaching 100%. Um, so. It just shows you the the solar panel we've got the 360 watt solar panel is really good I'm really pleased with that and that's not without full sun either if you get full sun it's it, it jumps up quite a bit so um, brilliant yeah so obviously a tip for anyone who's just starting out in this sort of life if you're worried about things like charging up stuff um, do it in the daytime and do editing in the daytime uh, rather than at night if you if you're that bothered you know and then um, you don't really notice any uh, any change any much in your battery, you know, in your charge. So, um, so I keep looking at you because you've got people all over the place. <laughs> it's interesting to see what they look at, you know. <laughs> um, 
No, it's not that I'm trying to pose or anything. I'm, I'm looking because you get some right grumpy sods, you know. Um, not everyone. You know, some people just look because they like the look of the motorhome, maybe. But no, I just like to look because I think look at them, looking, looking at us like we're, you know, sort of. Mm, if I think we're gypsies. She's got in. She's managed to get in. <laughs> she, she had enough gap to get in. But if you was a, a bigger person like me, <laughs> you'd be more of a tire squeeze. <laughs> um, but she come back thinking, bloody hell, where did that big thing come from? And she was pulling away. So, yeah, just to finish up, uh, so Jan's in Audi right now, getting some, some odd bits that we need. Um, when she comes back, uh, she can stay in there with Charlie because this is what we do. We don't like to leave Charlie by himself too much, especially in this sort of environment. You know, you never know, do you? Um, and then I'm going to go over to B and M's because I haven't been in a B and M's for so long. Probably been a couple of years, probably. So oh, that's fancy having a walk around, a bit of retail therapy. I don't, I don't. Well, we actually we do need some odd bits, some odd bits. Nothing major, just the odd bits. And also, what I'm thinking of getting, uh, we've been on about it, is the step as you go out, yeah, on the side door there. I think the bad design, you know, apart from the fact it's conked out on me, it's more the fact that it's it gets slippy. If it's been raining out, or it's wet out, or if you get wet feet and you're standing on it back, you know, constantly back up and down, up and down, it gets slippy. It's dangerous. Why didn't they make these things with a, like a rubber-based, you know, step? Um, I mean, even if the rubber wore out a little bit after a while, which probably take a long while to do because you get tough rubber, it'll last for a long time. Why don't they just put a rubberized top on them so that the it's easy for you to not slip off, you know? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if we can get some uh, rubber mat or something, and um... <laughs> I'm not sure we do. Um, yes. Yeah, so, Something like a rubber mat or something and, and fix it to the step. And so that way then when the step's out, you ain't gonna fly off it. Uh, as yes, I've not slipped on it, but there's been times where Charlie's slipped. You know, he'll step down on his all his four paws. <laughs> and as he's stepping down, his back legs slip. Uh, I don't want him breaking his legs, so I'm gonna sort that out. So I don't know whether B and M's or home base, probably more like home base, I suppose, they'd have something like that. If I struggle possibly could go to somewhere like Half, Half Frauds and um, somewhere like that maybe and get a cheap car mat or something, rubberized one and then cut it to the shape or something like that. I, but I'm definitely going to do something like that. Need, need to do that. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, so I'm going to sign off. There's another ramble on. Um, it's, it's getting busy over there now. There's no queuing, which is a good thing. No queuing over there. People having a natter look. No queuing at all anywhere, I don't think. Oh, hold on. There's a couple hanging about outside Pets at Home. Oh, so it looks like I might be queuing at Pets at Home. I ain't got to go in there anyway. But, um, yeah, I think it seems like to me, like some shops are, are doing these rules and some are not bothering or whatever. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, Audi's got a queue now. Maybe you can see on us. Zoom in. Yeah, I think you can see them over there. Uh, not over there, hold on. So I've got to move the camera around. There we go. Yeah, they're queuing, aren't they? But Jan went straight in. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so Jan got in before the queue appeared. That's good. Okay, we're back. There's Jan, look. Hiya. <laughs> She's been to Aldi, and we're going to show you what we picked up because you've seen all that before. I'm bending down here, look. So I've just nipped out, uh, and she says, Why don't you show everybody what you bought from M uh, I was going to say M&M's. <laughs> Chocolate on the brain. B&M's. So, well, you only went in for some paper plates. 
<laughs> I spent 20 quid <laughs> or just over. So the first thing I bought. Hey, plates. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think? 30 paper plates, big ones, what well, big-ish, 199. So there we go. They're handy when we're wild camping because she's there, look. Especially if we have a sandwich. <laughs> They're there. You're there. You. <laughs> I bought two lots. Yeah. So now we've got 60 paper plates. So uh, I got myself some more toothpaste. Yeah. I used to use this tooth powder stuff, uh, but recently I, I started using Sensodyne and stuff. So it, it was there, and I need some. So I got Charlie. I, I don't think he's got them, but yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They're handy to keep, though, aren't they? It's quite, quite a few as well. That keep them yeah, going for a yeah, bit. Yeah. Uh, always handy to have if you got a dog and a cat. But this is for dogs. We had he had a lot of trouble scratching when we were on the when there's a lot uh, of yeah. and stuff. Where we was locked down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, All oh, right. <laughs> big bottle of daddies. Big brown bottle. You know. I, actually, to be honest, with the brown, I tend to go for the HP, but they yeah. didn't have any. And it's time we had some like sauce. And you can't beat daddy's anyway, so. But Let's H have a bacon sandwich. Yeah. H I always think that HP brown sauce is good for the bacon sandwiches. Am I right? No. Put daddy. it below. Put daddy. it below. However, I did get. Oh my God. At long last, <laughs> I got me Heinz. I got... we limited in space. <laughs> These are going underneath the desk. <laughs> yeah, but that's the only size to do. <laughs> oh, I better put that one back then. All oh, right. Got that's her a Kenko. Favorite. It's a favourite. She ain't had none for ages. So, uh, big one of Kenko. Three ninety nine in B and M's. That's really good, isn't it? Because that can be yeah, six pound on in pound, yeah. Morrison's and places like that. Although they do go on offer sometimes, don't they? For four. So that's the rich, rich roast, rich roast, and she likes that. So. <laughs> and, oh, oh, how did that get? Oh, I don't know how that got in the bag. It must have fell in. Oh, oh dear. Look at that. Oh, a huge bar of chocolate just fell in my bag. I think it was two ninety nine on special offer as well. So that's a, that's a good job, isn't it? Where's Molly? <laughs> You've got your Kenko. <laughs> you can have some of this. <laughs> on square? Yeah, you can have. Well, yeah. If you're lucky, I'll think about cutting one in half. You ain't bothered about me and you, Charles. You lot have got enough. She's just come back. Don't believe her. She's come back from Aldi with her treats. Charlie's treats. And I ain't got no chocolate. You're a lawyer. Well, actually, she bought me these. She bought me, I still love these, you know. Caramel. Giant Buttons Caramel from Aldi. They're lovely, they are. They'll be gone in a second, they know. So yeah, okay, so there we go. There's your treat, Charles. Anti-flea stuff. <laughs> oh, really get up now. Oh, I can get up. Oh, so there we go. Uh, and that is it. We're now gonna be on the way to our destination, aren't we? Yes. yes. See you later, guys. So bye.